Profit Protector Pro Deep Dive Training Webinar. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're now live in the Facebook group, so um, I'll wait to see um, who comes in to join me today. But uh, my name is Matt, and you'll have probably seen me in YouTube videos on TikTok doing it, uh, doing the podcast as well, so you'd have heard me there. Um, and if you've watched one of these webinars before, here I am again. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just wait to see if we have anyone join us. If you are joining us, um, these webinars are all about learning uh, all about Profit Protector Pro, all of the various features to give you a better understanding so that way you can make um, the most out of the software. If you do leave a comment, don't forget to click on the little link that I think is above me so that way I can see who it is exactly that is leaving a comment. If you have any questions at all throughout the duration of the training webinar, please feel free to pop that in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer them. It is really nice and sunny today. Um, I'm in a t-shirt and shorts, which is very new for me this year. Um, not been able to do that much yet, but summer is definitely here to stay. Hi, Holly. Um, but yeah, so uh, as I was saying, these webinars are all about learning the features of Profit Protects Pro to give you a better understanding, a better understanding so that way you can make the most out of the software. Um, let me know what it's like where you are, if it's uh, just as sunny as it is here, just as hot as it is here. I am melting a little bit. Um, hello. So to start with, I have got some uh, slightly longer videos. And then at the very end as well, there is a new setting that got added in recently, which um, if you haven't seen yet, I'd definitely recommend that you go and have a look. But the video is going to explain um, all about that. So that's really exciting. Um, there are some other new features that were unveiled today. So all to do with the small and light toggle. Hello. Um, and I think we should crack on and get right into it. So, uh, oh, hello. Um, the first one is all about getting started with Profit Protector Pro. So this is going to be excellent if you have just signed up for the repricer and you're still trying to sort of like feel your way around and not, if you aren't sure about bits and pieces. Um, this is all about getting started and some of the first steps that you would uh, need to take if you are getting started with Profit Protector Pro. So I'm going to shut up and let the video do the talking and I'll catch you back in a little bit. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to pop them in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer them. So here's the first video. Catch you in a little bit. So Profit Protector Pro, you want the repricer to increase your sales and boost your profits. You're in the right place, but how do you get started? Well, all you need to do is log into your Profit Protector Pro account using your email and password. Then once you are in, the first thing that you should do is come on down to the account section and head on over to my Amazon accounts. From here, all you need to do is link up your Amazon Seller Central account through to Profit Protector Pro. So you need to use the connect button on the relevant marketplaces that you sell in. So you have the UK and the EU here, or you have the US, Canada and Mexico here, and you just need to click on the connect button. That will then take you through to Seller Central, whereby you just need to sign into the correct Seller Central account, allow Profit Protector Pro permissions, and follow all of the steps presented to you. Then once you are connected successfully, it will say that the marketplaces are connected and then it may take a maximum of 24 hours for the first ever sync to complete. The time it takes depends on the size of your inventory and the frequency of the data reports that Amazon send through to Profit Protector Pro. So within 24 hours, all of your inventory will appear in Profit Protector Pro, but hopefully it happens in under this time. The next thing you'll probably want to do once you have linked up your Amazon Seller Central account and Profit Protector Pro is pulling through your items. By the way, after the first ever sync, it will be a whole lot quicker after that. Please also note that Profit Protector Pro will only sync active items. So if you have anything that is inactive or in reserve or in fulfillment center transfer, it needs to become active before it can sync in Profit Protector Pro and appear in the repricing and inventory pages. After this, you'll probably want to get to learn the software to know what you're doing. So by all means, please feel free to check out any of the pages within the software, but the best place to go once you have linked up your Seller Central account and whilst you're waiting for things to pull through is to head on over to the help page where you can view frequently asked questions, training videos, and read up on all of the repricing strategies. So frequently asked questions, you might well have a question that has already been answered in this section. So flick through, see if any of them match what it is that you're wondering about. And if you need any further help beyond this, anything that you need clarifying, or if you have an issue, please feel free to reach out to info at profitprotectorpro.com. The support team is 24 seven, and they'll get back to you as soon as they can with a response to your question or issue. 
You can check out the training videos so you can see the account setup walkthrough. So getting started, you can have a walkthrough of the strategies. You can see the BuyBot Pro integration and how that works. You can check out the features within the software. You can check out the Chrome extension, which I would also recommend downloading straight away. So head on over to the Chrome web store, find the Profit Protect Pro extension and download that. That will then appear on any Amazon page um, that you go on to. So it'll look like this. And this will allow you to set a repricing information for your items in advance. So instead of adding them to your seller central and waiting for them to sync through to your Profit Protect Pro account, if you look at this item and you go, yes, that looks great. I wanna go ahead and sell it and you want to get to the repricing game a whole lot sooner, you can set up all of the repricing information in here. So your min and max prices, your strategies, and then just hit save in PPP and it gets sent straight through to your Profit Protect Pro account. You can check out the bulk inventory videos as well. So this is where you can add information for your items in bulk. So the buy prices, the min and max prices, strategies, and so much more all in one easy place on a spreadsheet. So depending on your spreadsheet software and operating system will depend on the video that you watch. Then you can check out what the min and max price automations are all about in this video. So this is basically where you can get Profit Protector Pro to work out your min and max prices for you based on rules that you set as to how it should calculate. So once you work your way through the training videos, you can then read up on the strategies. So you have all of the repricing strategies in here. You have a mixture of the algorithmic strategies. So these are really clever and have an artificial intelligence behind them, giving them a lot more flexibility when it comes to repricing. You have the rule-based strategies in here. You have the used goods and books algorithmic strategy, which is perfect if you are selling used goods or books. And then you have the merchant fulfilled focus strategy. So these ones focus more on the merchant fulfilled competition and also take into account your merchant fulfilled shipping settings, which you can find in the Profit Protect Pro settings here. So make sure that you work your way through this, turn on any of the marketplaces that you sell in. If you do read up on all of the strategies and you see one that looks like it might work out well for most, if not all of your inventory, you can set that as your default here. So that way you can then use the all strategies, the default button on the repricing page. You can set your default marketplace, which will determine things like the currency in the break even section that you'll see. I'll come to that one in a moment. You can toggle it if you prefer for the retail or wholesale toggle to be automatically switched that way on the repricing page. So with retail, you will enter in your buy price, including VAT. And then with wholesale, you enter in your buy price, excluding VAT. You can choose if you want the seller central inventory sync to be turned on. This one I'm explaining in a video a little bit later on. So stay tuned for that. And then you can do things like set up sleep mode and so forth, which again, I am covering a little bit later on. So stay tuned. I would also recommend coming to calculation settings and scrolling down to the break even fees where you can enter in any fees that apply to you. And as I say, your default marketplace determines the currency that you see here. So if you set it to UK, you'll see pounds here. If you set it to Germany, you'll see euros here and so forth. So you can enter in your prep fee, bundle fee, any extra fees. You can express that as a regular value or a percentage. You can enter in your VAT status. So whether you're non-VAT registered or if you are VAT registered, it will be standard accounting or the flat fee scheme. You will know if you are on the flat fee scheme or if you're in the US, then you can select not applicable. You can also turn on or off if you want the grocery VAT to be assumed at 20%. You can enter in your shipping cost per kilo or per pound, and then you can enter in if you are VAT exempt on referral fees or FBA fees. Now this is completely different to your VAT status. This is where you've reached out to Amazon and requested to be VAT exempt on the referral fees and FBA fees. If they have granted you permission and you have that from Amazon, you can then switch these to exempt. And then you have a choice of return on investment methods, which you can view down here. So you have six methods and you'll probably recognize method one. That is the uh, most basic way to work out ROI. I'm sure if you look that up on Google, it's going to give you that sum there. But for UK sellers, we recommend method four as it takes a lot more into account, including Amazon fees. So you get a much more accurate ROI. If you're in the US, we recommend method five. Again, it takes a lot more into account and it's all VAT exclusive. So again, a much more accurate ROI, but select the method that um, works best for you. Check out all of the different sums and see which ones you want to use. You can then set that method from the drop down list here. Once you are happy with everything that you've set, just click on save changes. This is important because it lets Profit Protect Pro know what to take into account for all of its calculations. So the profit and ROI estimates that it gives you on the repricing page for every product, it will take this information into account as well as your min and max automation settings. But for now, 
That is how you get started with Profit Protected Pro. Link up your Amazon Seller Central account, work your way through the settings, check out the help section. That's going to help you big time. If you need any further help, don't forget you can reach out to info at profitprotectedpro.com. You can check out the YouTube channel. There are new videos uploaded weekly, or you can check out the TikTok channel, or you can join our Facebook group where you can join live sessions like this one. You can get hints and tips, and you can keep up to date with everything that is going on with your favorite repricer. Back to the webinar. So there we go, that was getting started with Profit Protector Pro. If you're wondering why I asked you to join the Facebook group, even though you're already in the Facebook group and watching this live session, this is just for the replay um, if you are watching on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I really wish I could open the window, but then there's gonna be a lot of noise. It is so hot in here. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, one thing that I was thinking of as that video was playing was where I mentioned the new small and light toggle. Now, I really wish that I could share my screen and show you, but I was testing this before I went live and it was giving me a weird warning thing and I really don't wanna mess this up and just disappear. So I'm gonna do my very best to explain it. There will be a Facebook post on this um, after the webinar explaining everything that it does and there will be a YouTube video uh, done for, like fairly soon so that, that way you can have a video on it as well to refer back to um, but Profit Percents Pro did have a big new update this morning and that is the um, SNL alterations and the new SNL setting which is in the Profit Protects Pro settings. You didn't see it in that video because that one was done uh, a couple of days ago, so before this feature was live. Um, so there is a new small than light status uh, light for any item with a SKU. The existing S and L toggle remains for anything without a SKU. So you can have a little color indicator. Now it's gonna show as red for items that are not eligible for S and L. The reason for this could be that they are too large or too heavy uh, or too expensive, something like that. The light will show as orange for an item that is eligible but is not currently enrolled. And there will be an enroll button, which will instantly enroll the item in the SNL program without needing to leave Profit Protects Pro and go to Seller Central. The light will show green for an item that is enrolled in SNL and there will be an unenroll button should you wish to remove the enrollment. The light will also show as gray or off if Profit Protects Pro doesn't support uh, small than light in that particular marketplace. If you are um, noticing the new uh, SNL alterations to Profit Protector Pro and you're just seeing skew and then it's blank, um, what you need to do is you need to hard refresh the page and try clearing um, your browser cache and then try refreshing the page again. And you should then have the little light indicator. So the new setting in your account settings, so that's the small and light auto enroll button. Um, Basically, when this is turned on, it will enroll any item it can find in your Seller Central account without you having to do anything. Um, please note that it can take up to 48 hours to enroll. Um, via, uh, sorry. Please note that it can take 48 hours to enroll new items added via a sync or for the uh, auto enroll to complete if it has just been turned on, as there are restrictions on how many we can do each hour per account. Um, so that is the new small than light update for you guys hopefully that's really really useful if you have taken a look at it already let me know what you think in the comments hello um yeah so uh that one was requested by quite a lot of people so you ask we listen it's now in profit protector pro hopefully it helps you guys out a lot um so i've done a lot of talking there i don't think we have any questions so i'm going to move on to the next video which is all about the repricing page so this fits in really nicely with what i was just talking about uh, in terms of getting started, sorry, I've just got something on the screen. Um, so in terms of like, uh, once you've gotten started and you've uh, linked up your Profit Protector Pro account uh, with Seller Central and it's pulled through your inventory, one of your main ports of call will be the repricing page. You're probably going to spend a, um, well, quite a lot of your time in there, um, taking a look at your inventory, checking out um, bits and pieces about your items, setting min and max prices and so forth. Um, so this video is all about the repricing page. Um, so I'm gonna play that now. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them when we get back. So I'll catch you in a bit. So just gonna do a little walkthrough of the repricing page and what you can expect to see 
on this particular page and what it does. So the repricing page is gonna be one of your main um, ports of call in Profit Protector Pro. This is where you're gonna see all of your inventory and you're able to set up repricing information for all of your items and get a little extra info about what is happening on that particular listing. So once you've linked up your Profit Protector Pro account through to Amazon Seller Central and your items are being pulled through, you can expect to see them in here. So you'll have all of your items appear as such. You'll have X number of pages depending on the size of your inventory, so you can flick through. You can change the amount of ASINs that appear on the page, so right now I've got it selected to 50, but you can change it to 25, 10, 5. If you find that you're having a day where you might be having some internet connection issues or something like that, and you're finding that things are taking a while to load up because of those connection issues, um, you could try changing it to something like 10 ASINs, for example, so that way it shows less, it's got less to do. Um, so if you're having a troublesome internet day, that can be a good option. You can sort by different options as well. So you can sort from oldest to newest, newest to oldest, sort by quantity, Z to A, A to Z, price low to high, price high to low, and you can sort by strategy as well. You can use the filters to help you narrow down what exactly it is that you want to see on the repricing page. So the cool thing about the filters is that you can tick as many as you like, so you can really narrow down and specify exactly what it is that you want to see. So you could, in theory, tick something like um, FBA items that need a mint and a max filled in. Um, you could also tick favorites as well if you've marked anything as a favorite. To mark something as a favorite, all you need to do is click on the little star icon just here, mark as a favorite, and that way this item will be included in that favorites filter. You can click on show strategies here to give you a list of all of the strategies. So you can filter by strategy too. So again, you can really narrow down what it is that you want to see on your repricing page. So once you have selected um, a couple of options, so let's just say items that are turned off, you can apply that filter and then it's going to show you all of the relevant items. Currently at the time of making this video, the filters work by ASIN as opposed to SKU. So any SKUs attached to the ASIN that meets the specified criteria will also be included in the filtered result. So that's something to bear in mind. Now for every item, you'll have the same kinds of information. So you're going to have the marketplaces that you sell it in dotted along the side. So make sure that you've got them all turned on in your account settings and they will appear in here. If you are selling them in multiple marketplaces, you'll have all of the different options uh, to the left of the item here. You'll have the item image, the title, the SKU, the ASIN, and you can click on this little button here and it copies it to your clipboard so you can paste that piece of information wherever it is that you like much easier. You can enter in your buy price here and don't forget that this links to the retail and wholesale options. So if you choose retail, you need to enter in the buy price including VAT. If you select wholesale, you need to enter in the buy price excluding VAT and it will give you the um, including VAT price underneath and it will give you the price including VAT underneath. And this is what Profit Protect Pro is going to use in its calculations. You can delete the item using the bin icon here. Please remember that you need to do this in Seller Central and in Profit Protect Pro separately, unless of course you've got the new setting turned on, whereby Profit Protect Pro will detect things that are no longer in your Seller Central and remove them from Profit Protect Pro. You can check on the repricing history for the item. So if you click on this, you get a log of everything that has been going on with the item. So every time you've updated the minimax prices, every time a repricing calculation has been made and so forth. So you can see exactly what is going on with the item in that marketplace. You can analyze the item with Buybot Pro. So if you do have a Buybot Pro subscription, it links very nicely in with Profit Protector Pro, not just for this reason, but because of the Buybot Pro and Profit Protector Pro integration in the Buybot Pro software. So if you clicked on this, let's say you're replenishing the item, for example, it will quickly take you through to items page on Amazon and you can reanalyze it um, and just make sure that everything is still going to work out for you on that particular item. You can turn on if you want Profit Protect Pro technology or European fulfillment option. So whether that is PAN, EFN EU or EFN UK, you'll have set this preference in your account settings and that will be the one that appears here. So if you want it to take into account those fees, just make sure that you select the on option so it knows to take that into account. Profit Protect Pro will automatically pull through the fulfillment method from Amazon Seller Central, but for whatever reason you need to change it, you do have the option just by clicking on the opposite fulfillment method. For every marketplace, you can see the buy box price, the low FBA price, how far away you are from the buy box, 
the current price of your item, and then it will give you a profit and ROI estimate based on the current price. If the current price changes at any point, which it will because Profit Protector Pro will be repricing, it will recalculate this profit and ROI so you will see the estimates change. You can enter in your break even price so where you're not selling for a profit nor a loss and you can enter in your min price and your max price. So these are the parameters that Profit Protector Pro will work between in order to reprice. Now it's really important that you get these set up and set your strategy in order to turn the item on for repricing. One toggle that you may have noticed on this item that you didn't see on this one is the S and L toggle. So the toggle will appear on eligible items. And if you have enrolled that particular item in Small and Light, you can turn this on. And again, that is something that Profit Protects Pro is going to take into account for its calculations. You can also see the BSR number for the item and the amount of stock you have. You can set your strategy by clicking on this here and you get a little drop down menu so it has all of the preset strategies and any of the custom strategies that you have turned on. You can also set an automation as well. So if you have created an automation and you've again marked that as active in that section in Profit Protector Pro, then you can select it from the drop down list here. You can also add a note to your item. So anything that you want to remind yourself of or maybe you're going to tell yourself to change a certain something after X amount of time or whatever it is that you want to leave as a note, you can do so in there. And if you change any of the marketplaces, the information here will change in accordance to that marketplace. You can use the automate break even and min max options if you have set up your min and max automation rules in Profit Protector Pro. So once you've set up those rules, you can then come into here and select any of these options. So you can automate just the minimum price and Profit Protector Pro will work this out for you. You can automate just the maximum price. You can automate the break even and then max just for this item in this one marketplace, or you can automate the break even and then max for this item in all of the marketplaces that you sell it in. It is completely up to you. You can search for listings at the top as well if you need to find a certain something. Uh, as you go along and you change any of your min and max prices, so let's say I'm changing this to 38, you'll have to save all price changes button appear at the bottom. So please make sure that you click this as you go along and you're setting your min and max prices. If you are changing lots all at the same time, you may prefer at the end of the session to click on the save all price changes button at the top here so that we will save everything in one go. Um, it might just be good practice anyway, even if you are saving as you go along, just to click this button anyway, just to make sure that you're safe. Um, if you have set a default strategy, so a strategy that is your favorite in your account settings, you can click on this button here, all strategies to default, it will set everything to that set default strategy. And you can use the bulk select option to make bulk changes in your inventory. So you can select all and that's going to select everything on the page. You can go along and tick things individually using the check boxes to the side of every single item. You can select all X amount that has been filtered. If you haven't got a filter applied, then it will be everything in your inventory if you tick this option here. And you can choose if you want to turn the items on for repricing, you can choose if you want to turn the selected ones off for repricing, or you can choose to delete them. Once you have selected your action, you can click on the tick here and it will ask you if you're sure you want to perform this action and just say yes or no. To manually turn on repricing for items individually, once you've set your min, max and strategy, as I say, you need this, otherwise Profit Protects Pro has no parameters and you won't be able to turn on repricing. Once you've set this all up, just come here and turn on repricing using that toggle and Profit Protects Pro will begin work on that particular item. So viewing the inventory in this way means that you get more information. If you just very quickly want to whip through everything and make quick changes, you can click on list view and that will make everything look like this. So here, as I say, you have less information, but this view is just for you to very quickly, as I say, flick through everything and make adjustments faster to all of the items in your inventory. You still have things like the history, the favorites icon and the delete button. And of course you've got the strategy, the min max price, the break even, the BSR number, the current price. You can turn it on for repricing. You can see your stock levels and you'll have all of the marketplaces that you sell it in listed down below. So that is the repricing page in Profit Protector Pro. Hopefully that was useful and I'll catch you back in the webinar. There we go, the repricing page and uh, those are the longer videos out of the way now. Um, hopefully that's really useful. I don't think I see uh, any questions or anything like that. The uh, next video that I'm gonna play for you, I came up with a pretty cool analogy um, and hopefully you guys agree with me. Um, and you think that that makes sense as well. Um, 
I'm, I'm, a, I'm quite proud of myself for, for the analogy that I made. Um, so I'm going to play that video for you now um, and let me know what you guys think. Hey, so I'm going to explain sleep mode to you. Now, a great little analogy that describes sleep mode almost perfectly is when you play Mario Kart and you're driving along, every now and then you're going to come across a power block. Now, when you get that power block, it gives you a little something that you can use to trick your opponents and it helps you win the race. Now, this is the power block for Profit Protector Pro, and I'd definitely urge you to try it out if you haven't done so already. So with sleep mode, in a nutshell, what you're doing when it's turned on is it's going to raise your prices to max price. Now, if anyone else on the listing has a repricer, it may convince their repricers to move the price up as well. And then when you come out of sleep mode, Hopefully the overall pricing on the listing has risen so that way Profit Protects Pro when it gets to repricing as normal again is able to scoop up the buy box and secure a price a lot closer to your max or indeed even at your max price therefore making you sales for a much bigger profit. So with sleep mode you can turn it on here. Before you adjust any of these settings one thing I'd recommend that you do is head over to my Amazon accounts and underneath the button where you've connected up your Amazon account um, to Profit Protector Pro you can see the sleep mode time zone and this is what it's going to use for these marketplaces. So you have the options here and you have the options here for the US as well. So just select the time that is relevant to you and then you can go ahead and set up your sleep mode. So let's take a look at the tooltip. If you need a reminder of how exactly this works, there is a tooltip there that you can read. So sleep mode is the option to send your repricing back to your maximum price for a period where there are slow sales, or it could even be when you're actually asleep. For example, 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. The thinking behind this feature is that if your competitors are using a repricer, as I explained, and you increase your price, their prices will go up too, resulting in the ability to start the next day sales from a higher price point. You can choose which time you start and finish your repricing and also whether to include SKUs where you are currently holding the buy box. If, for example, you turned your sleep mode on between 1am and 4am, if at 1am you had the buy box on a certain SKU, this option tells Profit Protector Pro whether to include that SKU in your repricing to maximum or leave it alone so you can keep the buy box. So that one is an optional add-on for sleep mode and that is this toggle here. So reset to max price during sleep, turn that on, move your SKUs to max price. If you turn this off, everything's going to remain as it is. Include buy box winners, you can leave that off if you wish. If you turn it on, as the description said, any of your items that are currently um, have a hold over the buy box, they will also move up to max as well. So it's completely up to you if you want to do that. And then you can set the time. So when you want uh, Profit Protector Pro to enter sleep mode and when you want it to come out of sleep mode. So whichever time works best for you, as I say, a period of slow sales or when you are actually asleep, anything along those lines, whatever you would prefer. And when Profit Protects Pro leaves sleep mode, as I say, hopefully you start at a higher price point and whatever strategy you have applied to the listing will begin work straight away as soon as it comes out of sleep mode and it will secure the buy box and hopefully make sales at a higher selling price, therefore making you more money. So that is sleep mode. Go ahead and give it a try if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you back in the webinar. Boom, so that is the power block Mario Kart thing for Profit Protector Pro. So that is going to um, hopefully give you an edge over your competitors. Um, so try out the power block, try out sleep mode. Um, I was ace at Mario Kart as well, just uh, just as a side note. So if anyone wants to challenge me, um, just let me know and um, we'll, uh, we'll have a Mario Kart race where I will probably win. Um, so <laughs> so um, yeah, that was sleep mode. Um, and I don't think I'm glad that you guys like the analogy as well. I was so proud of that. I was thinking, oh, you know, I, I'd love to compare sleep mode to something. And that was one of the first things that popped into my head. I thought, yeah, th this makes sense to me. So I'm glad that makes sense to everyone else as well. Um, so uh, the next video is all about one particular strategy. Um, for me personally, it's one of my favorite repricing strategies. Um, I know that if Holly's in the comment, she's going to say the aggressive one, but different opinions. Um, so I thought I'd do a, a, a bit more of a breakdown on this one particular strategy. And then when we do these webinars uh, again, what I want to do is um, pick just a strategy from the list that we have and then sort of like dive into it a little bit more to help your understanding of um, that one particular strategy that, I, that I've chosen. So today I've started with my personal favorite, which is the 
which is the balance sales accumulator. <laughs> I can see Holly's in there with the aggressive comment. Uh, aggressive is boss. Whatever you say, whatever you say. I mean, aggressive is amazing as well. All of the strategies are amazing, um, but everyone's everyone's going to have their favorite one. So we've got aggressive in the comments. I say balanced. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play this video where we're going to take a bit of a deeper dive into the balanced sales accumulator. Enjoy, and I'll catch you in a moment. So we're going to do a bit of a focus session on the balanced sales accumulator. I know that you can read upon it on the strategies explained page. I just wanted to go into it in a bit more detail and help you understand when you may want to use this particular strategy. So the balanced sales accumulator is amazing because it competes with both FBA and FBM only when it really needs to. The balance sales accumulator is still pretty aggressive in pursuit of the buy box and will favor sales over your profit, but only just. As I say, it is quite balanced, so it is just as profit focused as it is sales focused, but does have a little bit of a sales edge. Now, when the strategies say things like this in the explanation, that doesn't mean that it's going to sacrifice profit or sacrifice sales. It just means that they lean a certain way and you can choose that depending on your goal as the seller. Having said that, unlike the aggressive sales generator, this strategy will work a little harder on increasing your profits and will match the buy box where it can. However, if matching the buy box isn't getting you sales, it will undercut your competitors to get you that buy box before attempting to drive the price back up again. So just like any of the other strategies, once it has the buy box, it will work hard to bump your price up as best as it can in order to make you more money. Now, the great thing about the balance sales accumulator is that it's going to try lots of different routes in order to help you get the buy box. So just like it says, it will favor a match buy box game plan. But if that doesn't prove to be um, fruitful, then it's going to try undercutting your competitors and try to win the buy box that way, which should in theory work. If that doesn't work, then it's going to try going back to the match buy box plan or try something else in order to help you uh, win that buy box and bump the price up. Some sales will inevitably happen when it drops the price to get you that buy box before moving the price back up again. So ensure that you set a minimum that you are happy to sell at. And that stands true for any strategy that you select. That stands true for setting minimums in Profit Protector Pro. Always make sure that you set a minimum price that you are happy to sell at if the repricer did happen to be down at your minimum price. This strategy is ideal for super quick sales, but some profit will be sacrificed. So as I say, it does lean a little more towards the sales sides of things, but it will always work to drive that price up to make you more money. This is an algorithmic strategy. So this means that it has an artificial intelligence behind it, which allows it to make these clever repricing decisions and assess the situation on the listing and the competition. So this is responsible for deciding that, look, the match buy box game plan isn't quite working. Now I'm gonna to shift to undercutting competitors and see if I can win that way or vice versa. So this is why the balance sales accumulator is amazing. If you were to select the match buy box rule based strategy, there is nothing wrong with that at all. You might just want Profit Protector Pro to do just that. But with the balance sales accumulator, you get a lot more flexibility. So it is going to match the buy box, but then it's still gonna to work to drive that price up. And if that particular method isn't as fruitful as hoped for, it's going to try shifting its approach to winning the buy box, which is the amazing thing about these algorithmic strategies. I would always recommend the balance sales accumulator to anyone that isn't sure what strategy to set. It has the best of both worlds. And from there, you can decide if you need to go a bit more aggressive or if you can afford to be a bit more passive and profit focused. Or you might just love the balance sales accumulator as it is. So for anyone that isn't sure what strategy to set, I would recommend something like this. As I say, it targets both FBA and then FBM when absolutely necessary. So it's a great strategy. It sits nicely on the sales and profit spectrum. As I say, it is something that I would recommend if you are completely new to Profit Protector Pro, you're completely new to the world of repricing um, and all of these strategies, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and give it a try. Back to the webinar. So that was Balanced Sales Accumulator, my favorite. Um, I also realized as well when I said uh, best of both worlds, it made me sound so much like Hannah Montana. Um, <laughs> um, but one thing that is important to understand about these uh, about these repricing strategies, depending on the one that you pick. If they do say that they are more sales focused, um, again, I can't emphasize enough that that, that doesn't mean that it's going to then go, right, you're going to focus on sales, no profit for you. That is not what Profit Protector Pro is about, hence the name of the software. 
they will always work to get you the best possible price they can and hold the buy boxes as, as best as they can as well. It's just um, It just depends on your targets and what you want for the listing. Could be that you have a, a very bu busy listing with a lot of competitors on there, so therefore an aggressive one makes sense. You could have a quieter listing where there's hardly anyone on there or you, you know, you're just happy to wait for the buy box to fall, fall to you so that way you can use a passive... Um, profit focus strategy but the balance one sits nicely in between the two and as i mentioned in the video from there you can decide if you need to ramp it up a little bit go aggressive and be holly's best friend <laughs> or if you can afford to be a bit more passive and, and profit focused if the listing is quiet um so it's completely to you it's completely up to you it's a great starting point or you might just love the the balance sales accumulator maybe you want to be my best friend and you want to use the balanced um <laughs> Uh, so I don't think we have any more comments. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the final video, which is about a brand new setting. So um, today we had the small and light setting and the new color indicators on the repricing page. Um, but I think it was either last week or the week before, like only just recently, there was a new setting, which is the seller central inventory sync toggle. Um, that can be found in your Profit Protector Pro account settings. I did sneakily mention it earlier in the repricing page video, um, but this video is all about that new toggle that I explain fully what it's going to do for you and hopefully you guys love it because it is super, super useful. Um, so I'm gonna play this last video. If you have any questions, please feel free to pop them in the comments and I will answer them before we end the webinar. Um, I'm gonna play the new video, uh, play the new video, play the new setting video. There we go, catch you in a minute. So in this talking to you about a brand new setting that got added in only just recently and it's an absolute game changer as it's going to help you keep your inventory up to date and completely relevant to you. A lot of you guys have been asking for this and I'm now super happy to say that it is now in the software. When it comes to deleting your products in Profit Protector Pro you need to make sure that you do this separately um, to Amazon Seller Central. So if you remove something from Seller Central you need to then go into Profit Protector Pro and remove it. And the ways that you do that would be with the bin icon per item or you can use the bulk select and select all or check items in individually using the little tick boxes here and you can set the action to delete. So select all on the page or select all X amount that have been filtered or all X amount that are in your inventory depending if you have a filter applied or not then you just click on the tick and apply that action. So you'd have to do this manually before, and let's take a look at the tool tip here. So deleting the SKU will remove it from your Profit Protector Pro account, but not from your Seller Central account. Please note SKUs deleted from Profit Protector Pro, which were added to your Amazon account within the last 24 hours, will be re-added to Profit Protector Pro when it syncs with your Amazon account. So if you removed anything by mistake that was active and in Seller Central, don't worry, it will reappear back in Profit Protector Pro. So to tidy up your inventory, you'd have to do this manually in any of those ways that I just explained. Now, when you come to account and then go to Profit Protector Pro settings, you now have this new setting called Seller Central Inventory Sync. So what it does is exactly as follows. So when turned on, this setting will automatically delete items that are no longer present in your Seller Central account. Products no longer detected in Seller Central will be hidden and permanently deleted after 30 days. So regardless of what's going on with the item in Profit Protector Pro, if it's turned on if you have a min max fill then whatever that is if you've removed it completely from your seller central account and it's no longer there it won't be detected by profit protector pro so once that item is no longer being detected and it's been 24 hours it's going to be hidden so you won't be able to see it in your account anymore then once it hits the 30 days mark that item will be completely removed from profit protector pro now within that 30 day window if you do add that same item back into your seller central account it's going to reappear back in profit protector pro with everything set exactly the same way it was when it was hidden from profit protector pro so you have a bit of a safety net there with the item being hidden so that way if you do add it back into your seller central at any point within that 30 day window it will then come back into profit protector pro exactly the same way that it was but once the item does hit that 30 day mark it will be completely removed from profit protector pro but if you did add the item to your seller central account again after that 30 day window it will be added into profit protector pro the same way anything else would when you add it to your seller central account then you'd have to set up all of the 
repricing information for it. Again, whether that's in Profit Protect Pro or using the Chrome extension, but this is going to go a long way to helping you keep your inventory tidy, keep everything up to date, keep it all relevant. It means that you don't have to necessarily set aside time to do a big old spring clean and work your way through and decide what to remove from your Profit Protector Pro. So it's up to you if you want to do this completely yourself or if you want to let Profit Protector Pro do a lot of the work for you. And even with that, you might still feel like you want to remove a couple of things yourself. If you want to apply this toggle, simply turn it on and Profit Protector Pro will start um, detecting the items in your seller central account and seeing if any have been removed and then as I say it will hide them after 24 hours and then delete them after 30 days so hopefully you find this setting really really useful let me know what you guys think now back to the webinar so that is the brand new set well yeah it's still a brand new setting in Profit Protector Pro um, that is going to save you bundles and bundles of time it means as I said in the video you don't have to set aside a bunch of time to go into your into your repricing page and then like work through things and, and manually tidy everything up. You can leave it to Profit Protector Pro now, just switch on the toggle. Anything that you remove from Seller Central, it will be um, hidden and then removed from Profit Protector Pro, um, which is super useful because there might be times where, um, like before where you did your manual spring clean and maybe you missed a couple of things and then it gets a bit confusing when you add um, more SKUs for that ASIN or you might replenish something and then you you might get confused about where you're entering your, your min and max price. You might enter it in on the wrong one. Um, and this just makes everything a whole lot more efficient um, and cleans up your, your repricing page, which is always a plus. Um, so I don't think we have any questions or any more comments. Uh, so thank you to everyone that joined me today on this webinar. Um, for the new small and light uh, update that was applied today and um, please look out for the Facebook um, uh, please look out in the Facebook group for a post that I'm going to do about it just after this webinar explaining everything um, and I will do a YouTube video on this as soon as possible so that we guys both have the post and the video to help you with your understanding of the new feature but hopefully you guys love that hopefully you guys um, love the new seller central inventory sync toggle as well uh, let us know what you think we love um, all you guys' feedback on it um, lots of you were asking for these features as it was. Um, another in Profit Protector Pro. So happy, happy days. Um, yeah, don't forget to uh, keep up to date with all of the Profit Protector Pro news in the Facebook group, on the YouTube channel, on TikTok. Um, thank you to everyone that joined me today. Um, hopefully there was something that you could take away from this webinar. Um, if you need any help with anything, don't forget to reach out to info at profitprotectorpro.com. There is a 24-7 support team and they will get back to you as soon as possible with an answer to your query or issue. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.